Alternator Man here. Today I'm going to show you how to install a kit in the GM 10SI alternator. Talk a little bit about it. Uh, the 10SI, which is this housing right here, you can tell the 10SI, it's got the slots across the back, it's got the multiple holes here. Uh, here is a 12SI. The 12SI is the next version up uh, that's got bigger holes, they improve the cooling in the back. A better fan, a thicker stator and rotor. It's an upgraded unit. Runs in multiple amperages up to 90, 94 amps. Uh, uh, the biggest one they made in the 10SI ran up to uh, 61 amp. But the 10SI alternator was first started way back in the early 70s. But it's a very, very good alternator. There's still tons of these things out there. They use the SI series, the 10SI and the 12SI. 12SI was used all the way up until 85, so there's just a lot of them. There's all kinds of equipment out there, extra things that have this old 10SI alternator. And the fact is, I really like the 10SI. If you don't need a ton of power and you want a good charging system, system I like the 10SI because you don't need to solder anything. After GM went up to the next level, they went up to the, the CS series, they started welding the stators and things like that, where the 10SI... These base, basic three tools here, these, uh, uh, we've got your 11 30 seconds, uh, this is a 7 16 and this is a quarter inch spin type. Uh, you can take this thing out, apart, you can work on it on the fender of your vehicle, picnic table. If you've got something out and you need some charging power, the 10SI is still a very, very good alternator. It's, it's a, just a very good, easy to work on, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to put, and this covers, this, this covers uh, our kits, our, our uh, HO7001 or HO7011 kit, the HO701SE for self-exciting, the 590 self-exciting kit, the 597 uh, red light kit, and 6, 8, 12 volt negative ground type alternators. This is this is what this, this would cover. So the parts that you have right here, you've got this this little thing. This is called the diode trio. And what this is, there's three diodes in it, and its function is to convert the AC current that alternators generate to DC current, feeding power to the voltage regulator. You have your bridge rectifier, this is as your diodes in it, which converts the AC current, the total amperage of AC current, to DC current for the use by the, the vehicle. You've got the screws that hold it in, you have brush holder assembly, battery post assembly, and the and the voltage regulator. So and you have your stator. So what we're gonna do is uh, put these components in. Uh, first thing we're going to start out with is the bridge rectifier. That bridge rectifier goes, and I'm going to go through this kind of quickly, and I'm not going to totally tighten everything down. Uh, the bridge rectifier goes right in here, takes a quarter inch nut driver, spin that down. There. So you got your battery post, make sure your insulator's on your battery post, it shoves in through the back side. It's uh, square, it's got a square square end on it. Make sure that gets in there. And that's your positive, it's insulated down in there. Then you have your nut that goes on the back of that. Then you have your 7 16 nut driver. Throw that in there, that's not totally tight. Uh, then you have your little capacitor. What this capacitor is for is for radio noise, uh, basically. It doesn't do any other function other than filter out the, the sound of the generating of AC current. Uh, if you don't have a capacitor and you're worried about it, you, you do not have to replace these things. Uh, it doesn't matter if they're good or bad. If you end up with radio noise, uh, you can put an external capacitor on the alternator. And because this basically just goes into ground, so putting an external would be just grounding out and then putting the capacitor right in the battery post in the back. That will do the same thing. Then what we have is our voltage regulator, and that drops right in there. And then we have our brush holder assembly. There's something I want to point out with this. When you get this brush holder assembly, 